Hello all. Welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to implement compile time polymorphism in Java. So let's get started. Compile time polymorphism in Java is related to method overloading. Let me now practically demonstrate this compile time polymorphism for you. I'll first open this Eclipse IDE where we have this sample project and inside this sample project, I have already created some classes, class A and demo class. If you look at this class A, there are n number of methods, right? There are like one, two, three, four, five, six methods. And if you clearly observe, all these methods are having the same name. That is here, method A is there. Here also method A is there. Java is allowing you to create duplicate methods inside the same class if they differ in number of parameters, type of parameters, and the order of the parameters. I'm going to explain. For example, if you observe the first method, it doesn't have any parameters. But why the second method is allowed? Second method having the same name is allowed because here the first method doesn't have any parameters, whereas the second method has a single parameter. This is making the difference. This is called as overloading guys, okay? Inside the single class, you can create duplicate methods if they differ in the number of parameters. But if I go to the third method, which is also having the same name, but the type of the parameter is different. If you compare here also one parameter, here also one parameter, but the type is different. Here in data type is there, here the parameter is declared, double data type. This is making the difference. Still the methods are overloaded. Now, if you come to the fourth method having the same name, they differ in the number of parameters, okay? This method is having two parameters. All these methods doesn't have two parameters. So method overloading is possible. Now going to the fifth method having the same name here, int A is there, int B is there, but here for one of the parameter, the type is different. You see, for the second parameter, it's int and here string. So this is making the difference. And coming to the last one, this is also an overloaded method because the order of the parameters is different, okay? You see, here int A is there, here string A is there, okay? Here string B is there, here int B is there. The order of the declaration of these parameters is different. So all these things are making the difference, okay? Hence, overloading is possible. But what is this compile time polymorphism? So now you understood what is overloading, method overloading, and how it is possible in different ways based on the number of parameters, type of the parameters, and order of the parameters. That's fine. Now, here, there's another class case, demo class. Inside that, we have the main method. Here, I created an object for the class A like this. Class A, A is equal to new class A. Using this object reference, when I am calling method A, which method will be called? Will be decided by compiler, okay? Here, when I call this method A, which method need to be called from this overloaded methods will be decided by the compiler. How? If you're not passing anything, which method need to be called by the compiler? Method A, which doesn't have any parameters, okay? If you're passing this single value five, then out of all these methods, compiler need to choose with which overloaded method the compiler compiler has to choose the second method, okay? Because it's only having the single parameter and that too in data type. So compiler will choose this overloaded method. Now coming to the third method, if I am passing 5.5, .5, okay? So compiler has to choose this one or this one. Since this parameter is of double type, compiler will choose this overloaded method, which is having the double data type declared for the parameter, okay? So that's why this is called as compile time polymorphism. Compiler will decide which overloaded method need to be called based on the number of parameters, based on the type of the parameters, or here also number of parameters, the order of parameters, et cetera, okay? If you are passing five comma Arun string text, compiler will choose 
this one okay compiler will choose this method and it will call this method okay so five will be going to a and uh, arun will be going to b despite of the same name for the method compiler will choose based on the parameters okay based on the number type and order of parameters compiler will choose that's why it is called as compile time polymorphism the last one you see arun text and five okay since this is matching first first par first argument is matching with the first parameter hence compiler will choose this one now let's run this guys to see whether respective methods are being called or not right click run as job application you see first one general method if i expand this inside method a is there and uh, the second one is printing five because here five is passed and five is printed as it is when you pass 5.5 this method is called and 5.5 is printed as it is and uh, when i pass 5 comma 4 this method is called this overloaded method is called 5 is passed to a and 4 is passed to b and a plus b that is 5 plus 4 9 should be printed in the output yes it's being printed then if you pass 5 comma arun text 5 will be passed to this a and arun will be passed to b and 5 arun will be printed and finally when you pass arun 5 arun will be passed to this one uh, 5 will be passed to this one and uh, internally it's implemented like this a plus b okay arun plus 5 arun 5 will be printed so hope guys you understood what is compile time polymorphism so that's it guys thank you bye